Hey everyone, Maria Mitchell here. Thanks for joining me for another face painting tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to face paint Curious George. We're going to go step by step, so stick around. I am loading up a number six Low Cornell round brush. I'm going to make a a wide curve just starting from the middle here and you want to start relatively close to where the hairline is but leaving some room for the brown on top so a curve around to about there and then another curve on the other side I'm just going to try and make it as even as possible on both sides and then from here on I'm going to bring it out and then around out and then around filling in that entire area just along the side here I'm going to do a little teardrop inward for his ear and then I'll do the same on the other side now just above the ear here maybe two centimeters from the top of the ear I'm going to do a brush stroke downward that's going to be his thumb and then I'm going to curve it out and then bring a brush stroke inward a finger that ends slightly further out I'm going to do a teardrop inward and then another one slightly smaller than that middle finger and then a pinky coming downward, just a small one. So now from where the bottom of this thumb is, I'm gonna do a curve outward like this, and then just filling in all of that area. That'll be his palm. Again, bringing a thumb inward like that, almost about three centimeters from this ear. Then I'm going to have a index finger coming in meeting up with that the bottom of that um, thumb and then a middle finger which would be slightly longer I'm going to have the thumb meet a palm so I'm going to curve outward and then filling in this area for the palm of Curious George now once I'm done with that I'm going to just draw a little curve downward to where the top of that ear is and then come meet that and then come downward make that a little bit even I'm just going to draw some flicks outward for his hair From where the outer of the ear is, I'm just going to connect between the palm and the ear and then flick up where the palm is and then a curve downward and filling in that space. And again, I'm just going to bring it down. Fill in the arm and do some flicks outward so it looks as though that's his fur. I'm just going to fill in this area here. Now just with some regular white, just where the eye area and the cheek begins, I'm going to just do some eyes, some just the whites of the eyes. using a number one round brush or whatever brush you want to use for outlining for the nose just going to bring an arch and then a curve down and a curve upward the cheeks are right here I'm going to do a little curve around and a curve and that'll be my reference point as to how wide the smile would we want his smile to be just touching the tip of the brush. Fill these areas in with black, just the edges of the smile. 
and just in this area I'm just going to fill it up with some pale pink curve in and out where his tongue is I'm going to do a little curve inward now for his eyes I'm just going to do some arches starting from halfway through I just want to define his ears so I'm going to put a little teardrop up here and outline that ear outline his hands doing a curve doing a curve in the palm here so curve inward and then another curve inward as well outlining George's fingers another curve in for the other ear and outlining that ear now just roughly I just want to outline his hairline just loading up leaf white by tag you could use any combination of reds uh, sorry greens for the leaves it doesn't really matter now just bringing up just some leaves so around and up I'm using a short angled half inch brush and I'm angling and putting my brush flat before curving it into a tip and pointing it out and then to complete it I'll do exactly the same on the other side curving it out and into a tip curving outward just putting my black brush flat and then curving it out just to soften up the eyes I like to add a point just up the top of the pupil so I've just nicely loaded up my number four round brush and I'm just going to add a dot right at the top of those pupils and there we have Curious George a cute face painting design which is popular for the girls and boys Thanks for watching. If you got something out of this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any face painting related questions or you need something that you need clarified, make sure you comment down below and I'll do my absolute best to share my knowledge with you in the next video. I'm on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to follow me so we don't miss each other for the next one. Until next time, happy painting.